Okay, we are starting to learn about early man. Let's dive right in. We have a teacher lesson this week, some vocabulary, a study guide, videos, practice, an exploration, and going beyond. We're going to jump right into our vocabulary. So, um, the first word is archaeology. And archaeology is a study of the past based on what people have left behind. An artifact is an object left behind by people of the past. So archaeologists study artifacts to learn about history. History is the written or recorded events of people. And prehistory is the time before humans had written records for history. The Ice Age was a long period of time, cold weather, where sheets of ice covered parts of the earth. The Stone Age refers to a time in history when humans made tools out of stone. They made weapons out of stone. Metals had not been invented or discovered yet. So the Stone Age was the time period where all the tools and weapons were made out of stone. A hunter-gatherer is, is a person that gathers plants and hunts for animals, and they use this for food. A clan is a group of people who travel together for a certain purpose. And hunter-gatherers would all um, usually um, travel in clans. They had a clan that they belonged to. Migration is the movement from one place to another, usually to follow a food source or a climate. In these days of the Stone Age, um, hunter-gatherers would migrate. In modern times, people don't as much migrate around the world. Most people have a permanent settlement, but animals do continue to migrate, like geese. They fly south for the winter. A pictograph is a painted drawing by early man. And a petroglyph is a carved drawing by early man. A nomad is a person who roams from place to place with no permanent home. A land bridge is a narrow strip of land that joins two large land masses together. And in these days, the most common land bridge that we will discuss is the Bering Strait land bridge. Adapt means to change in response to something, to adapt to your surroundings, to adapt to nature. Fossil, a fossil is the remains or impression of a living thing that is preserved and or petrified from long ago. Sometimes that happens in a rock or a stone. Sometimes it happens in um, a sap like amber that's turned into a stone. And a Neanderthal is an extinct species of prehistoric man. This week, the study guide is linked right here for you, your handy dandy ancient history early man study guide. So feel free to use that. Your teacher lesson will be placed here. You're watching it now, so you must have figured that out. We're also going to be watching a number of videos this week, videos about early man. And although early man did not live in civilizations, we use the acronym GRAPES to study civilizations and to organize the information about their civilization. So although early man was not a civilization, um, we are going to take a look at the categories of grapes and see where early man fits in. Because there are a lot of categories that still apply to early man, even though it wasn't a civilization. The graphic organizer is useful. We'll be taking a look at some movies, filling in our grapes chart that you will have in class. You'll have a digital version or a hand version of this in class. Early man geography. Well, early man did not live in towns or villages. This was before the time of civilizations. Now that we've learned what a civilization is, what happened before that? There were no civilizations in the time of early man. Early man traveled from place to place in search of food. Animals migrate due to the climate, so early man followed the animals for a source of food and they hunted. The climate and geography of the land made this a very difficult and harsh existence. Imagine wandering from place to place year round, year after year after year, just trying to find food and not understanding how science works or how the earth works and how climate works, um, that might be surprising for you as it cools down in the winter or warms up in the summer, depending on where you are in, on the earth. Early man wandered the earth for thousands of years. They migrated to all different climates and they lived on most continents. 
Early man had to rely on the earth for survival. Early man used natural resources to stay alive. And in this picture, and we will see a video in class as well, it shows the migration patterns of early man. And this is showing the Eastern hemisphere. Early man started off in Africa and then came into Europe and Asia and into Oceania, down to Australia, through land bridges. And then this major land bridge, the Bering Strait, over into North America and South America. And the video will show that cl quite clearly in class or at home if you're watching this. Early man religion. Well, you know, archeologists don't have a lot of um, proof about lots of forms of religion for early man. So we can only guess at the religious beliefs of early people based on the evidence that we have found. Early man did not practice an organized religion like modern times or even during the earliest of civilizations. They may have worshiped the spirits of animals or other natural things to bring them a better availability of food and good health. They may, may have believed in um, worshiping their ancestors and thinking that their ancestors watched over them. They may have thought that illness or hard times were caused by evil doing, and they may have thought that good things were caused by good doing. Um, scientists have found burial grounds of early man, which gives us a hint or some evidence that they might have believed in honoring their dead. And so we do consider that part of religion, the burying of our dead, we consider that. If we were gonna fill out our grapes chart, that's where that would go. Achievements, well, early man lived for thousands and thousands and thousands of years living off the earth, living off the land. And in order to survive, they learned to develop primitive tools very simple tools and weapons out of stone. The discovery of fire was one of the most significant achievements of early man. Discovering fire um, and discovering how to keep fire going was another important discovery. Um, the ability to have fire meant they had the ability to cook, they had the ability to stay warm, and it really helped with the act of hunting. Early man learned how to hunt more effectively in groups Hunting by yourself, you can only get so far with your success. Hunting in groups became a strategy for early man. And they, over time, over hundreds of years, under, over thousands of years, um, learned how to hunt more effectively using um, a large portion of the clan to do so. Let's take a look at some other achievements. Language. Early man wouldn't have had a formal language. They certainly didn't have a shared language between clans. Um, early man communicated with a very simple primitive language. Um, there was no widespread or spoken language and early man would have used sounds or hand movements, hand gestures, and simple pictures to communicate. Language would have varied from clan to clan. It means it would have been different from clan to clan. They wouldn't have spoken the same sounds or gestures, the kind of um, clan-based language, simplified language that they may have had. Petroglyphs and pictographs. Pictographs are painted drawings, so painted drawings, and petroglyphs were carved drawings. Um, people painted and carved herds of animals and other symbols on cave walls. Um, these early drawings might have been used to teach others how to hunt or where to hunt or just to represent their daily lives. Well, it's time for a cartoon. In this cartoon, it says early Facebook. Great hunt, let's go eat. Hang on, I gotta post this on my wall. I know you guys don't like Facebook, but I think it's hilarious. All right, let's look at early man homes. Now we talked about early, earlier, we talked about earlier that early man um, had to live off the earth and live off of natural resources. So they made their homes out of things that they got from the earth. And they would have built shelter by using the land's resources. So shelter varied depending on the climate and the resources available. If there had been trees or sticks, that would have influenced the type of shelter. If they did not have trees or sticks, animal skins would have been more prevalent. Early man would have built a temporary house out of animal skin, trees, branches, or animal bones. And sometimes a cave would serve as a temporary shelter. And oftentimes they had their um, mammoth bone houses or their houses out of animal skins to be um, transportable, to bring to a new place as they migrated. So they may, may have taken pieces of it with them to rebuild when they 
um, ended up in a new area for the night. Early man um, tools and weapons. So we talked earlier that one of the inventions was part of the Stone Age was the invention of stone tools and stone weapons. So this made it easier for hunting for early man. Um, the hand axe and the spear were the two major improvements to daily life. It made hunting and um, processing meat much easier. Um, and a fun fact is the Stone Age was called the Stone Age because that's what they made their tools and weapons out of. This was prior to the metal, um, the invention of metals, uh, the, invent the Bronze Age, um, the Iron Age. This was the Stone Age. Politics, which means kind of government. Early man had groupings called clans, and those clans worked together to ensure survival. So the clan would organize and work together um, for the betterment of the whole group. So we could put that in politics if we were using our grapes chart. Each clan was self-sufficient. It means that the clan had to take care of itself and no outside forces were helping. They were self-governed and they had no economics. They had no economy because there was no money and there was no trade. They were simply finding food to survive. That was it. Early man existed before there were governments, before the invention of um, society and before the invention of civilizations and governments and, and um, laws, things like that. Each clan would have likely had members that served as decision makers and therefore would have been seen as the clan's leaders, which is why we're calling this part politics. If the clan leader was making decisions, essentially it's kind of like politics in that a country would have a leader. So a clan would likely have an experienced leader that was either the strongest hunter or someone that had a lot of skills, a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience who had survived for a while um, in the, the natural world of early man. For the economy, there was not a formal system of economics. Early man lived before there were economic systems. There would have been there there would have been no money or no currency, and they wouldn't have traded because there weren't cities and towns. There weren't they weren't trading with each other. They were they were finding food to survive. Early man couldn't buy their food. They had to hunt for it and gather it. All of their needs and wants came from the earth in the form of natural resources. And the only job early man had would have been hunting or gathering. So that's why it's on this page of economics for grapes, because the jobs, they would have had hunters, they would have had gatherers, some people would have stayed at home, um, some people would have gone out for a hunt, things like that. For social structure and social life, as for social classes, they, they weren't really formalized during this time, but all members of the clan would have had a job or served as a role on the clan. Some were hunters, some were gatherers, and they would all contribute to the good of the clan. The strongest and smartest hunters would have been seen as more important in the group because they would have been relied on to provide food. Because of their hunting, that would, that would dictate whether the clan survived. If they had bad hunters, that clan was not going to survive. Other members of the clan would spend the day caring for children, gathering food, building shelters, maintaining shelters, keeping the fire going, and making tools and weapons. So their daily life would have been, they would have all had jobs to do all day that um, helped the full clan survive and be successful. Um, and there would have been different roles for men and women during that time. Um, so that goes into social structure and social life. Early man didn't really have time for games and entertainment. Life of early man was exceptionally difficult. So they would have spent all of their time simply doing the things they needed to do to survive. This week, there are a number of videos posted for you to learn more about early man. I do suggest that you take advantage of all the learning that you can. Um, the more you know, the more education you have and the more power you have. Um, I did include some silly videos this week and we have some silly videos that you can feel free to watch. These are not as much informational, um, but they, they are based on the knowledge of early man. So if you watch these videos first, these will actually be funny for you, but they're obviously not required. I just like to throw them in for a little added extra. So for practice this week, we have a number of vocabulary words to know. So you can go onto our word wall practice to know our vocabulary. We're gonna do some grapes practice to match things of early man into the different categories of grapes, geography, religion, achievements, politics, economics, and social life. 
and we've got some Quizlet and quiz, um, quizzes practice. Uh, you can also practice by using the definitions and the matching word bank. You can ask yourself all of these questions. There's a lot of questions for this week. You can ask yourself all of these questions and all of these questions and see if you know about early man. Um, we can also do some practice for our grapes categories and our charts to see if we put in the right categories the different items that we saw from the movies. Now this is one of my favorite slides this week. This is an exploration and basically each one of these items around that are hidden um, are all linked to some sort of video to learn about life as early man. So please take an opportunity to check some of these out. The more you know, the better you are. And the last page is going beyond. I did put some videos here that go into a little bit more depth about early man. If this is an area of interest to you, it's certainly not required. It's just I like to give you a little bit further if you get done with your work and you want to go beyond. You want to do more than what we're doing in class. And that wraps up early man. I can't wait to uh, talk about early man with you in class and have you experience a really interesting and difficult part of our history.